Hello viewers, I am Deepthi. Today I am going to cover important questions in the form of MCQ from the chapter Electrolysis and Metallurgy for ICSC Class 10 Chemistry. Starting with the first question, study the given figure and answer the question that follow. Name the cathode and anode used during electroplating of silver. A option is hydrocyanic acid, sodium argentocyanide. B is copper cup and silver rod. C is silver rod and copper cup and D is none of these. And the correct option is B which is copper cup and silver rod. Always keep this in mind that the article to be electroplated is always kept at cathode. And cathode is what which is connected with the negative terminal of the battery. And an odd is connected with the positive owner of the battery. Coming to second question. Study the given figure and answer the questions that follow. Why is silica crucible used in this type of electrolysis? It is non-reactive, non-conductor of electricity. C withstand at high temperature and D all of these. And we know that all of these is the correct option here. Now in question number 3, study the given figure and answer the questions that follow. Name the ions which will migrate to cathode. Hydrogen ions, copper ions, chloride ions, both A and B. And D option which is both A and B is the correct one because hydrogen ions and copper ions both will migrate to the cathode because these are positively charged. Now fourth question, electrolysis is the passage of dash to a liquid or a solution accompanied by a dash change. A option chemical and electricity, B is electricity and chemical, C is electrons and chemical and D is electricity and physical and option B is correct which is electricity. It means passage of electricity through a liquid or a solution accompanied by a chemical change is the correct answer here. Option number B. Fifth question, the solution of a substance which conducts electricity is called A option an electrolyte, B conductor, C insulator and D none of these and option A which is an electrolyte is the correct one. In question number 6, a weak electrolyte is one which A option dissociate completely, B is feebly ionized in the solution, C ionizes completely and D is having high electrical conductivity. And option correct here is B is feebly ionized in the solution. That is why it is weak electrolyte. A weak electrolyte which is feebly ionized. Electrolyte which is completely ionized is a strong electrolyte. Coming to next question. A strong electrolyte is one which A option is completely ionized in the solution. B dissociate partially in the solution. C is having low electrical conductivity and D ionizes partially. And the correct option is A completely ionized in the solution that is why known as a strong electrolyte an electrolyte which completely ionizes strong feebly ionizes weak question number eight sodium chloride is a dash electrolyte and water is a dash electrolyte weak and strong strong and weak weak and weak and strong and strong these are the options given here correct option is b which is sodium chloride is strong electrolyte while water is a weak electrolyte Coming to next question, in the electrolysis of acidulated water, oxygen is produced by the discharge of dash ions at the anode. A option, OH minus hydroxide. B is sulfate. C, both A and B and D, none of these. Oxygen is produced by the discharge of dash ions. It means OH minus hydroxide ion is the correct option, which is A. In question number 10, the gas given off at the cathode during the electrolysis of acidulated water is at the cathode. A option is nitrogen, B is hydrogen, C is oxygen and D is none of these. And the correct option is hydrogen at the cathode in the acidulated water electrolysis. A hydrogen is given off at cathode. In question number 11, with platinum electrodes, hydrogen is liberated at the dash and oxygen at the dash during the electrolysis of acidified water. A. Cathode and anode. B. Anode and cathode. C. Anode and anode and D. Cathode and cathode. Correct option is A which is cathode and anode. 
Platinum electrodes, it means passive electrodes. Hydrogen is liberated at the dash, means cathode, and oxygen at the anode. In question number 12, as we descend in the electrochemical series containing cations, the tendency of the cations to get dash at the cathode increases. At the cathode, it means reduction is there. Always remember, at the cathode, always reduction is there. It means, in general language, we will say that reduction means loss of anything. But here, reduction means gain of electron. And gain of electron takes place only with metals. And reduction always happens at the cathode. So, A option is oxidized, B is reduced, C is increased and D, none of these. And the correct option is B, which is reduced. Cations, tendency of cations to get reduced at the cathode. It means metal is present at the cathode. In question number 13, during electrolysis, anions undergo dash at the dash. Reduction and anode, oxidation and anode, oxidation and cathode and reduction and cathode. During electrolysis, anions undergo. Anions undergo, correct option is B, which is oxidation. Anions undergo oxidation at the anode. It means the positive terminal. In question number 14, in a solution or molten state, a dash electrolyte consists almost entirely of ions. A option non, B strong, C weak, D none of these. So, entirely of ions. It is a strong electrolyte here. Question number 15, identify the weak electrolyte from the following. A option is sodium chloride solution, B is dilute hydrochloric acid, C is dilute sulfuric acid and D is aqueous acetic acid. And weak electrolyte among these is option number D which is aqueous acetic acid. Option number D. In question number 16, which of these will act as a non-electrolyte? A. Liquid carbon tetrachloride, B. Acetic acid, C. Sodium hydroxide aqueous solution and D. Potassium chloride aqueous solution. And the correct option is A, which is liquid carbon tetrachloride, which is a non-electrolyte because of the absence of free ions in it. In question number 17, the metallic chloride which does not take part in the electrolytic reaction. It means inert electrode. A is copper, B is silver, C is platinum and D is nickel. And we know that correct option is C which is platinum. In question number 18, when the dilute sodium chloride is electrolyzed using the graphite electrodes, which cation is discharged at the cathode most readily? A option is sodium ion. B is hydroxide ion, C is H plus hydride ion and B is chloride. So, correct option is C which is H plus. Question number 19. A compound which liberates reddish brown gas around the anode during electrolysis in its molten state is A option sodium chloride, B copper 2 oxide, C copper 2 sulfate and D lead 2 bromide. And the correct option is D, which is lead to bromide. In question number 20, when fused lead bromide is electrolyzed, we observe A option, a silver gray deposit at anode and a reddish brown deposit at cathode. B is a silver deposit at cathode and reddish brown deposit at anode. C is silver gray deposit at cathode and a reddish brown fumes at anode. And these silver gray fumes at anode and reddish brown fumes at cathode. And the correct option is C, a silver gray deposit at cathode and reddish brown fumes at anode is the right answer, option number C. In question number 21, the vessel in which the electrolysis of lead bromide is carried out is A, clay crucible, B, glass vessel, C, silica crucible and D, aluminium vessel. And the correct option is C, silica crucible. And we should know the reason why we are using it. Question number 22. The ion which is discharged at the cathode during electrolysis of copper sulfate solution using copper electrodes as anode and cathode. Which ion is discharged at cathode? Which is metal among these? A option, copper 2 plus. B, OH minus hydroxide. C is sulfate and D is H plus and the correct option is copper. Cu2 plus. Cubic. Question number 23. 
During the electrolysis of molten lead bromide, which of the following takes place? A. Bromine is released at the cathode. B. Lead is deposited at the anode. C. Bromine ions gains electrons. And D. Lead is deposited at the cathode. And the correct option is D. Lead is deposited at the cathode. In question number 24, an electrolyte which completely dissociates into ions is A. Alcohol, B. Carbonic acid, C. Sucrose and D. Sodium hydroxide and the correct option is D which is sodium hydroxide which completely dissociates into ion when dissolved in water it completely dissociates into Na plus and OH minus ions. So completely dissociate it means it is a strong electrolyte. Correct option is D. In question number 25. During silver plating of an article using potassium argentocyanide as an electrolyte, the anode material should be A option, copper, B silver, C platinum and D iron. So, correct option is B which is silver. Anode material is made up of pure silver. Question number 26. The electrolysis of acidified water is an example of a option reduction, B oxidation, C redox reaction and D synthesis reaction and the correct option is C which is redox reaction. It means combination of reduction and oxidation. In question number 27, level of electrolyte in a cell should be dash the level of plates below equal to above none of these. Correct option is C which is above. So level of electrolyte should be above the level of plates. In question number 28, which of the following equations represent the reaction that takes place at the cathode during the electrolysis of aqueous silver nitrate with carbon electrons? So, we have just read that at the cathode reduction takes place and reduction means gain of electron. And here Ag plus plus electron and it becomes Ag in the solid form. So, this is the correct option because gain of electrons is there. In next question, element X is extracted by the electrolysis of a molten compound of elements X and Y. The electrode reactions are shown below. At the cathode, X2 plus and 2 electrons gain and then becomes X. At the anode, 2 by 2 minus and then it becomes Y2 plus 4 electrons, loss of 4 electrons. So here options given are aluminium oxide. B. Calcium Chloride, C. Magnesium Oxide and D. Potassium Chloride and the correct option is Magnesium Oxide because 2 plus it means valency is 2, Mg 2 plus. So, Magnesium Oxide is the correct compound here. In next question, question number 30, a solid deposit of element R is formed at the cathode when an aqueous solution containing ions of R is electrolyzed. Which statement about R is correct? A option is element R is below hydrogen in the reactivity series. B is R gains electron to form ions at the cathode. C is element R forms negatively charged ions. And D is ions of R loses electrons at the cathode. And the correct option is A. Element R is below hydrogen in the reactivity series. Question number 31, which statement best explains the generation of electrical energy in a simple cell? A, free moving ions in the electrolyte, B, free moving electrons in the electrolyte and then C, transfer of electrons from a more reactive metal to a less reactive metal and B, transfer of electron from a less reactive metal to a more reactive metal and the correct option is C. It means transfer of electrons from a more reactive metal to a less reactive metal. Next question 32. The cathode production of the electrolysis of zinc iodide is A option iodine, B zinc, C zinc oxide and D chlorine and which is metal among these is zinc. Correct option is B which is zinc. Question number 33. The electrolyte used for electroplating an article with silver is A. Silver nitrate solution, B. Silver cyanide solution, C. Nickel sulfate solution and D. Sodium argentocyanide solution and correct option is D which is sodium argentocyanide solution. Question number 34. Metals like potassium, calcium, sodium etc. can be extracted only by electrolysis. Why? A option is 
कन्वेंशनल रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट डू नॉट सप्लाई सफिशियंट एनर्जी कन्वेंशनल रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट मीन कार्बन कार्बन मोनो एंड हाइड्रोजन नोन एज कॉमन रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट डी इज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोनियम आयन आर प्रोड्यूज C smaller number of hydronium ions are produced and D none of these and the correct option is A it means common reducing conventional reducing agents do not supply sufficient energy to these highly reactive metals so that they can be extracted in question number 35 copper is a good conductor of electricity but it is a non electrolyte why A option contains free electrons B metal C does not dissociate into ions and D all of these and the correct option is all of these because we know that copper is a good conductor of electricity it means it contains free electrons it is a metal and does not dissociate into ions this is the reason why it is known as a non electrolyte being a metal still it is a non electrolyte good conductor of electricity still non electrolyte because does not dissociate into ions so correct option is d which is all of these Question number thirty-six. Mercury is a liquid and allows the flow of electricity, though it is a non-electrolyte. Why? A option breaks up into cations and anions. B due to the presence of free electrons in the penultimate shell. C new substances formed in D all of the above. And the correct option is B. Due to the presence of free electrons in the penultimate shell, mercury, which is a liquid. and a non electrolyte still it allows the flow of electricity because free electrons are in the penultimate shell in question number 37 a solution of cane sugar does not conduct electricity but a solution of sodium chloride nacl is a good conductor why a option sugar cane solution is a covalent compound b sodium chloride solution contains free sodium and chloride ions C chloride ions migrate to positively charged electrode and D all of the above and the correct option is D all of the above because all the three options are correct here in question number 38 an aqueous solution of nickel 2 sulfate was electrolyzed using nickel electrodes observe the diagram and answer the questions that follow which equation for the reaction at the anode is correct at the anode it means oxidation should happen there nickel is giving ni2 plus and 2 electrons nickel plus 2 electron it means this is reduction ni2 plus is giving ni and 2 electrons on the right hand side it means oxidation when electrons are written on the left hand side then it is reduction when electrons are written on the right hand side it means it is oxidation so c option is correct which is showing oxidation at the anode and d is again incorrect in question number 39 fused alumina is reduced to aluminium by the electrolytic reduction since a alumina is highly stable b alumina is least stable c alumina is not reduced by drying agents and d alumina is not reduced by reducing agents and the correct option is a it means alumina is highly stable in question number 40 the chemical name of the principal ore of aluminium is A sodium aluminium fluoride B hydrated aluminium fluoride C aluminium oxide and D hydrated aluminium oxide and the correct option is D which is hydrated aluminium oxide In question number 41 name the alloy for the given composition magnesium plus manganese plus aluminium and plus copper A option is magnesium B duralumin C brass and D bronze and the correct option is B which is duralumin In question number 42 a layer of powdered coke is used over the electrolytic mixture in Hall Herold's process the correct reason behind this is A it prevents burning of anode B it reduces heat loss by radiation C it lowers the fusion temperature and D both A and B and the correct option is d which is both a and b in question number 43 aluminium powder is used in thermite welding because a it is a strong reducing agent b it is corrosion resistant c it is a strong oxidizing agent and d it is a good conductor of heat and the correct option is a it is a strong reducing agent in question number 44 why in construction work alloy 
duralumin is used rather than aluminium a option duralumin is harder than aluminium b duralumin is stronger than aluminium c duralumin is resistant to corrosion and d all of the above and the correct option is d all of the above because all the three options given here are correct regarding the duralumin it is harder it is stronger and it is resistant to corrosion in question number 45 the process used to convert impure alumina to pure alumina a option roasting b purification c electrolytic refining and d bears process and the correct option is b which is bears process in question number 46 all ores are minerals while all minerals are not ores because a option the metals cannot be extracted economically from all minerals b minerals are complex compounds c minerals are obtained from mines and d all of the above and the correct option is a because the metals cannot be extracted economically from all the minerals in question number 47 aluminium hydroxide is heated at 1000 degrees celsius to produce a option NaAlO2, b is Al2O3.2H2O and C is Al2O3 and D is NaOH and the correct option is C, aluminium oxide, Al2O3. In question number 48, what are the constituent elements of duralumin? A option, aluminium, copper and magnesium. B is aluminium, copper, magnesium and manganese. And C is aluminium and magnesium and D is aluminium, copper and manganese. And the correct option is B, aluminium, copper, magnesium and manganese are the constituent elements of duralumin. In question number 49, in electrolytic reduction of alumina, the reaction of oxidation of anode by oxygen produces A option N2 gas, B H2 gas, C O2 gas and D is carbon dioxide gas and the correct option is carbon dioxide gas. Question number 50. The main components of brass are A option copper and tin, B copper and zinc, C copper and lead and D iron and copper. Option number B is correct which is copper and zinc because main components of brass are copper and zinc only. In question number 51, an alloy used in the manufacture of surgical instruments is A. Brass, B. Duralumin, C. Stainless steel and D. Gunmetal and the correct option is C. Stainless steel. In question number 52, 50% lead and 50% tin is A. Option bronze, B. Solder, C. Fuse metal and D. Both B and C and the correct option is D both B and C because solder and fuse metal is one and the same thing. In question number 53, hall herald's process is used in the A, concentration of ore, B, purification of ore, C, electrolytic reduction of fused alumina and D, refining of aluminium. And the correct option is C, which is electrolytic reduction of fused alumina. In question number 54, the product formed at the cathode in the electroplating of an article with nickel is A option hydrogen gas, B nickel ions, C nickel atoms and D oxygen gas and the correct option is C nickel atoms. This question I have taken from this year's specimen paper. In question number 55, if silver nitrate solution is used directly instead of sodium argentocyanide then a. Deposition of silver will be very fast. B. Deposition of silver will not be very smooth. C. Deposition of silver will not be very uniform. And D. All of the above. And the correct option is D which is all of the above. Because if we use it directly then deposition of silver will be very fast, will not be very smooth and will not be very uniform. In question number 56. During the electrolytic refining of metals, the thin strip of pure metal is used as A. Anode, B. Cathode, C. Electrolyte and D. All of the above and the correct option is cathode. In question number 57, an alloy used in the manufacture of pressure cooker is A. Option brass, B. Bronze, C. Duralumin and D. Gunmetal and the correct option is C which is Duralumin used in the manufacture of pressure cooker. In question number 58, calamine is the ore of which metal? 
A option zinc, B iron, C tin and D aluminium and the correct option is A which is zinc. In question number 59, the purpose of using phosphor and cryolite during electrolytic reduction of fused alumina is A option, it acts as a solvent for the electrolytic mixture. B, it increases the conductivity. C, it lowers the fusion temperature and D, all of the above. And the correct option is D, all of the above because all the given options are correct. Act as a solvent, increases conductivity and lowers the fusion temperature. In question number 60, triferric tetraoxide is the chemical name of which ore of iron? A. Red hematite, B. Magnetite, C. Iron pyrites and D. Brown hematite and the correct option is B which is magnetite. Triferric tetraoxide Fe3O4. One more question, cryolite lowers the fusion temperature from 2050 degrees Celsius to a option 2000 degrees Celsius, B 1000 degrees Celsius, C 950 degrees Celsius and D 500 degrees Celsius and the correct option is 950 degrees Celsius because cryolite lowers the fusion temperature from 2050 degrees Celsius to 950 degrees Celsius only. Hope you have understood all the topics. If you still have any doubt, you can refer to my video on metallurgy of just less than 10 minutes covering all the topics according to the reduced labels for 2022-23. I will give the link in the description box. If you still have any doubt, you can tell me in the comment section. Thank you for watching till the end. Keep watching, sharing and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.